bone soldier. It says, um, my father always told me I'd understand when I got older. This internal hurt of a lone soldier, so held firmly in my right arm with her head on my shoulder because that's the way she likes me to hold her. That's what I told her. Speaking about my daughter, in order to save face because just before the embrace and all the I love you's and I miss you's, she clearly let me know that she had issues. Talking about daddy, where you been? And just then my mind began sinking back. Thinking back to those Saturday seldom show up days, those seem like my father don't want to bother helping me grow up days. So sick of not seeing my dad, I want to throw up days. Those my mom said you shouldn't come nowhere near where we resided because she decided to blow up days. Well anyways, her eyes were always able to pull the disguise off of any lies I might try to use to summarize the situation. You see, it's funny the way it's second nature, the way I put these words to paper, but couldn't figure out a simple explanation to offer my baby girl. Don't like having to admit that tomorrow just a maybe girl or the famous ask your mom and see what she say. But the ball's in her court, so we got to play how she played. But hey, I tell my big girl not to fret because all this dirty had come out in life's wash and we haven't finished filling up yet. You see, when two parents are not in conjunction, a dysfunctional child is inevitable. See, mommy's not on time with daddy and daddy's not on time with mommy, so the child grows up off schedule. And it's incredible because he always told me that I would understand when I got older why he used to call himself the lone soldier. And one night when she called crying and I couldn't get to her to hold her, even though it wasn't some game shit, I felt like it was some lame shit I told her. Just because I couldn't be right there after a nightmare about a fight between me and her mother. See, she's six and can't conceive how I could leave and still tell her I love her. So her inquisitive little mind forces her to question and my rationale begs me not to reply. See, I know she won't see why we have to live in different places or how come her and her little brother don't see each other's faces on a consistent basis. And it hurts when I have to lay down the hand of discipline knowing that I just get to spend a short segment of time with her. So imagine how I feel when I got to hit her. And don't get it twisted, sometimes I fuck up and don't get her because my ego won't let her mother call me a babysitter. But for my baby girl, I swallow my pride and show through. See, I love my kids. It ain't nothing I won't go through.